where does the data on a hard drive go when you delete it? Well, to answer that, we need to talk about how a hard drive works. A hard drive is a spinning magnetic disk. Regions in that disk can either be magnetic north or magnetic south, basically representing zero and one, the, the basics of binary. When you write data to a hard drive, a little head moves up and down the disk and zaps it with electricity to give it the polarity that you need. And the byproduct of that process is heat. So when you change a zero to a one or a one to a zero on your hard drive, you create a little bit of heat, which is then vented off by your computer fans. In a very real way, that's where the data goes. It's the heat coming off your computer. But it is worth saying that for efficiency's sake, most hard drives don't really overwrite their data when you delete a file. See, part of our whole data storage system is that every sector of the hard drive is essentially marked as something you can write over or something you can't write over. If it's marked as you can't write over it, then there's essentially a file there, right? It's like, don't write in this space because there's important data being kept there. If it's marked that you can write over it, that's basically free space. And while, you know, the hard drive might start out with free space being, you know, all uniform, when you delete a file off your hard drive, you're not actually immediately overwriting that file. You're just marking that space that had the file in it as now free. So you could write over it with whatever you want when you need the space. That's why even if you've completely wiped a hard drive, sometimes data can be recovered from it. And that's why if you want to make sure that that data is gone gone, you have to rewrite over the entire hard drive with a bunch of garbage data, basically. Or I guess you could do it the caveman way and just smash it with a rock really hard until the magnetic disk doesn't work anymore.